Phase diagrams represent a pressure temperature plot of the different phases of a substance. We're typically considering that of water. The lines on a phase diagram represent the equilibrium pressures as a function of temperature between two phases. So let's take the left hand side of the figure, that's the solid phase. On the solid side, the rate of deposition is greater than the rate of sublimation. And on the right hand side of that red line, the rate of sublimation is greater than the rate of deposition. So you're in the vapor phase of the diagram. Higher up along the green line, on the left hand side, the rate of freezing is greater than the rate of fusion. And on the other side, in the liquid phase, the rate of fusion is greater than the rate of freezing. Then consider the blue line, which is the line that separates liquid from vapor. In the liquid part of the diagram, the rate of condensation is greater than the rate of evaporation. And in the vapor section, the rate of evaporation is greater than the rate of condensation. So the lines on the diagram represent equilibria. But what about the point where all three lines converge? That's referred to as the triple point. And the triple point is the thermodynamic state at which all three phases of a substance simultaneously exist in equilibrium. So evaporation equals condensation, fusion equals freezing, and sublimation equals deposition. In another video, we'll derive what these actual curves look like for liquid water.